mini muffins. Home baked. Don't worry, though. I didn't bake them myself. Elves did. Yep. I let them live in my garden in exchange for baked goods. What? <laughs> Clint. Dorian, I'm sorry. It was nice of you to ask me over for breakfast, but I shouldn't have come. No, I'm glad you did. Why? Well, I'm lousy company. I didn't ask you over here for the snappy repartee. I thought maybe you needed a break, some time to... Whatever. Am I allowed to ask how things are going, or would that be prying? Oh, no, you can ask. I just don't know how to answer. I don't know much of anything these days. That's because your mind is so full of what you found out about what happened to Jessica. She's just such a little girl. And that had a profound effect on you, finding out. But I know that you're going to remain a tower of strength for Jessica and Vicky. You can't tell. You can't tell Vicky that I told you. Oh, no, of course not. But you did have to tell somebody. It's your tragedy, too. I'm just glad that somebody happened to be me. These eggs are good. No, just wonder how the takeout guy managed to keep them so hot. There was no takeout guy. You made these? I wanted to make sure that, that, that um, you were made to feel uh, welcome and at home and that you were well fed. Dorian, you're an awful lot of things, but you're not a cook. Okay, I went to medical school instead of some culinary arts whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> okay, my housekeeper made it. Oh. Yeah? Vicky, you know, but I could have. This lady, this housekeeper. She didn't happen to make that pot roast I had the other night. Oh, absolutely not. No, no, I no, made no. that. I I I fibbed, okay? A little a little fib. <laughs> Just a little pot roast fib. <laughs> you are too too much. <laughs> and you are smiling. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Then I've succeeded. In what? Feeding you, amusing you, and taking your mind off your problems for just a little while. You know, I think of uh, when I'm in your house, it's like I'm on a vacation from my life. Well, good. You feel free to call me whenever you need a break. Years ago, though. If someone would have told me that I'd be sitting here and enjoying breakfast with Dorian Lord. Yes, you would have called them nuts. And yeah. so would I. <laughs> I remember one time I wanted to get rid of you so bad that I put a rubber snake in your bed. <laughs> you brought that up. That was the meanest thing anyone ever did to me. That rubber snake. Oh, the so... look on your face. Well, it looks so real. You scared the snake for God. <laughs> You know, I've had fantasies about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but not what you think. No, 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 no. I'd take that long rubber snake, and i just wrap it around your neck, and I'd choke you with it. I can't do this. No, of course you can't. Your mind is too full of Jessica. It's not just Jessica. It's this whole thing is wrong. Uh-huh. And what do you mean by this whole thing? Me being here eating eggs and muffins. Ignoring the fact that for most of your life you wanted the total destruction of my family. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. I don't, even if we just limit it to my kids. You seduced Joey and broke his heart. That wasn't calculated. I really did care for Joe. Ran Jessica over with your car. Please, Clint, that was a terrible accident. And I have paid in so many ways for that. And I'm not even going to list the things that you did to Vicky. Okay, why um, are you bringing all of this up now? Because this Jessica situation has me off my game, and it took me a while to remember where I am. Which is? The enemy camp. Why? 
Why are you being so nice to me? Because I enjoy your company. It's got nothing to do with sticking it to Vicky. If you don't like it here, you can feel free to go. Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. Are you leaving because of something that happened 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago or something that almost happened five minutes ago? Oh, in this case, the past trumps the present. Clint, are you the same person that you were 20 years ago? No, I'm definitely not. But I'm still a Buchanan. You're still a Kramer. And the Kramers and the Buchanans, they just don't mix. How can you possibly say that our two families don't mix? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. you just make... You're using it as an excuse. For what? You just don't want to have to tell people, Vicky, that you like me. Oh. Yes. And that there is you know, a certain chemistry between us. Chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to tell me? That my kitchen is the only place in town where you can get a decent breakfast? You may have a point there. I got to go see Jessica. Yes, of course. But please don't let this um, imaginary feud between our two families keep you away. However surprising our friendship may be. It's very valuable to me. I'll call you. Please do. Oh, as an added inducement, my housekeeper makes a mean eggs benedict. <laughs> Thanks for the breakfast. It was just what I needed. <laughs>